In this video, I'll show you how to transfer Ethereum from Binance to your MetaMask wallet. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well if you did find this guide useful. And please do watch this guide right until the end to know all of the key steps. And without further ado, let's go and jump into this. I just need to give a quick disclaimer. Basically, I am not a financial advisor, nor is this video financial or investment advice. Please do your own research on any investment you make. Make. I'm now on Binance but just a quick note this guide is going to work regardless of what device you're on as long as you've got access to Binance and MetaMask this guide is going to work I'm just doing it on desktop so it's nice and clear so the first thing you want to do is of course come to Binance.com and make sure you've got an account created on Binance so as you can see I'm currently logged in and the first thing you want to do is come to the top right area where you can go and see wallet and all you want to do is click wallet and go to overview and then you want to go to the left which says fiat and spot and it's going to go and show you how much of each currency you have so to go and see how much ETH you've got all you want to do is search for ETH in the search coin section and it's going to show you the total you have I've currently got zero but to go and buy some of course just come up to buy crypto and I can go and click buy crypto via a card and then I can just go and select the coin I'd like so I change this to, to ETH and then I can enter the amount I'd like to buy here. I could have spent 15 pounds and I'd get that much Ethereum. And once you purchase it, it's then gonna be added to your wallet. So once you've then got the Ethereum you want to go and put into your MetaMask in your Binance wallet, then all you want to do is simply go and click on withdraw as we were drawing the crypto from our Binance wallet to our MetaMask wallet. So click withdraw and then all you want to do is go and select the coin. So you click on coin here and then you can go and search for ETH for example, just like this. And I could go and click on ETH here. And then all you want to do is go and open up your MetaMask if you didn't know. So to do that, go and click on the puzzle piece in the top right if you're on Google Chrome. If you're on an app, go and open that up. Click extensions and then go and click on MetaMask. And then it's going to take a minute to pop up and here we go. So to go and get your address, which we actually need for MetaMask, all you want to do is make sure you've got an account selected and Ethereum mainnet selected. And then all you want to do is simply copy here. And this is your Ethereum address. I've currently got zero Ethereum as you can see. And then all you want to do is come to the address and right click and go and click paste. And that is my address. And then for the network, then you need to use the Ethereum network because we want it in our Ethereum wallet and not our BSC wallet. So click here and do make sure you do use the right network as otherwise you can actually go and lose um, your crypto. And as you can see, when we clicked on network, it's going to show you the fee. The fee is about $23 right now. So if we're going to send you know, $50 of Ethereum, it's going to cost us 73 in total because we have to add the fee on top as well. So there you go, and then all you need to do is enter the amount of ETH you'd like to go and withdraw. As you can see, there is a minimum of 0.01, so you'd have to do at least 0.01. Um, and then all you want to do is go and click withdraw, and it's going to show you the amount you're going to receive after the fees, I guess. Um, so yeah, you go and click withdraw, and then after a set amount of time, it's going to go and arrive to your MetaMask wallet. But that amount of time is going to depend on how big the gas fee is and how congested the Ethereum network is at the time. If it's really busy, it's going to take longer. If it's not as busy, it's going to um, take a lot less time. But then it will go and arrive in your MetaMask wallet, and it's going to go and show the amount you have here. So if you had withdrawn 0.01, that's now going to be here a bit less due to the gas fees. But if you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Once you've done that, please go and leave a like as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.